Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex and you are watching BC Adventure. Children, do I got a doozy for you. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video. We're going to be diving into the world of Proxmox. What is this? I don't like change! As you may have heard over the last year, there's been a lot of drama surrounding VMware and their perpetual licenses which has pushed a lot of people over into the Proxmox universe. Now, I've personally never used Proxmox before, so I'm actually really excited to dive into this topic and start exploring the world of the Proxmox ecosystem. So, uh, today we're going to be getting a Proxmox USB installer put together. We're going to be deploying it on my test computer that I've been using for uh, my Unraid deployments. And we're going to play around with getting a virtual machine up and running. Now, uh, like I said, I've never done this before, so this is all new to me as well. So I'm really excited to learn about this topic and start exploring the world of Proxmox. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and get started. All right, to get started on this project, we're going to need two things. We're going to need to download the Proxmox Virtual Environment ISO, which I've already gone ahead and started. And then we're going to need to download the Rufus USB tool. So to get Rufus, uh, please don't search for it on Google. I had no luck with that. Just head on over to rufus.ie. And then from there, you're just going to scroll down and you're going to download the latest version. No installation needed for Rufus. We're just going to open it right from where it's downloaded. And then we can uh, attach the ISO file and burn it to our USB drive. So as soon as this is done, we will jump right into the Rufus USB tool and get our USB drive all set up and ready to boot. All right, so the download is now finished. So we're gonna close out of the browser and we're gonna head on over to our downloads folder and we're gonna open Rufus and run it as administrator. Uh, yeah, sure, check for updates. So what we need to do is make sure we're selecting the correct USB drive. So I'm repurposing my Unraid drive and I've already taken a backup so I can jump right back into where I left off. And here we're going to select our ISO image, which is the Proxmox 8.4. Okay, so it's going to enforce direct disk. Sure. Okay, well, it does everything that we need to do to make sure that, oh, what's this? Rufus has found an updated version of the DBX files used to perform the UPC script boot. Want to download this update? Uh, no. Uh, okay, so we're gonna let it do its thing just as is. It's already auto-detected how it should be set up and run. So we're just gonna go ahead and click start. It's gonna ask us if we wanna destroy our data on our Unraid USB drive, and I'm gonna click okay. So this is going to take a few minutes to get set up. Shouldn't take that long though. So once this is done, we'll jump right back into it. Okay, so when you boot into the USB drive, it's going to present you with these four options. And all we're going to do is just select the install Proxmox VE graphical. It's going to boot us into the installer and we're just going to follow the quick on-screen on steps and it's pretty much good to go after that. All right, we're inside the installer now. We're just going to scroll down and click that we agree with the license. And we are going to change this to XFS. And just going to actually, yeah, we're going to leave that as it is. Click OK. And next. It's going to ask where we are. We're in Canada. And we're going to have to put in a password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we will jump back in. So now it's going to ask us to name our machine. I'm just going to leave the default here. And since it's already grabbed an IP address, uh, I'm just going to leave that all as is. So from here, I'm just going to click next. I'm going to confirm everything and let it automatically reboot and click install. And from here, it's going to start uh, creating the partitions and getting the uh, the Proxmox virtual environment installed to the server. And then when we, when we reboot, we're going to have to head on over to the IP address it gave us to uh, start accessing our, our Proxmox instance. So 
As soon as this finishes up, we will head on over to our browser and get into that. Okay, so the installation finished, but I honestly don't know how long it took because I got distracted doing stuff around the house. So what we need to do now is get logged into the IP address using the password we created earlier in the installation process. So I'm just going to put in that IP address and we're going to jump back over to the main computer. All right, so the installation took about 20 minutes. However, I am using a mechanical hard drive and older hardware. So I don't expect this thing to uh, just, you know, jump through an installation of something like this in a, in a few minutes. So uh, now that the installation is finished, we need to head on over to the URL that it provided after we installed. So uh, in my case, that's 192.168.1.112 and semicolon 8006. So once we're there, we're going to click on show details and visit this website. And to get logged in, we need to use the username root and the password that we set during the installation process. Now, it is going to give us a little warning that we don't have a valid subscription, and that's okay. We actually can remove that in a, in a future video. The first thing we need to do, though, is make sure our server is up to date. And how we're going to do that is head over to PVE here. And we're going to go down to repositories and we need to disable the two Proxmox repositories. So we're just going to click disable and then we're going to disable the second one here. Now we need to add a couple repositories to make sure that our server stays up to date. So we're going to click on add. We're going to bring the drop down menu and we're going to do the Ceph Quincy no subscription. Oh, this is deprecated. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use the Reef no subscription. Click add. And then we're going to see if the squid one is still good. Yes, yeah, squid is still no good. So we're going to add that one as well. Now, what we need to do is we need to reload. And then from there, we're going to go to updates and we're going to refresh. It's going to go ahead and check the repositories to make sure that we have all the latest updates, which looks like we don't close out of that. And these are all the updates that it needs to install. So before we do anything, especially deploying a virtual machine, we need to update our machine. So we're just going to click upgrade here. We're going to agree. And it's going to take about five minutes to get all updated. So we will jump right back in as soon as that is done. So now that that is all finished, we need to close out of this window. And we need to reboot our server. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then once this is all rebooted, we are going to jump into deploying our first virtual machine on Proxmox. Okay, so the system's all rebooted, but uh, I had to turn it off again because I realized that I needed to add a, another hard drive to boot the virtual machines from. So I went ahead and I put in a, another hard drive in the system and it's just rebooting now. So I'm just waiting for that to come back online and then we need to prepare our disk before we install the virtual machine and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the disk is now installed. I just put in a small 64 gig SSD. Now we need to format this drive. So we're just going to go wipe disk and yes. And it's going to wipe this clean. And now we are ready to go. The next thing we need to do is we need to come down here to directory. And we're going to create a directory. And we're select we're making sure that we've selected our, our newly installed drive. I'm going to select the XFS file system and I'm just going to name this uh, my data. And create. The reason that we created this directory is that we need somewhere to upload our ISOs. So to get our ISO installed, we need to click over here on this new set, the my data. And then here we're going to have ISO images. So we're going to click that. And as you can see, we don't have any. So we're going to upload one. So I'm going to select file. 
I'm going to head on over to my server and I'm going to install Ubuntu. I'm just going to leave this all as is and click upload. So it's going to go ahead and get this uploaded to Proxmox. And then as soon as this is finished, we can start to deploy our very first virtual machine within Proxmox. Now, Proxmox doesn't just do virtual machines. We can also set up Docker. But today we're just going to focus on Pro Proxmox's uh, main thing, which is the virtual machines. So uh, this is already just about half done. So we'll jump. Uh, we'll we'll jump right back into it as soon as this is done uploading. Now that that's all done, we can start to deploy the virtual machine. So now that the ISO image is fully uploaded, we can go ahead and create our virtual machine. So to do that, we're going to click on Create VM. We're going to make sure that we're using the correct node, which we are. We're going to name it Ubuntu. And then we're going to go Next. And then for Storage, we want to select My Data. And then from there, we're going to select the Ubuntu image. Next, we're going to go to Next. And here, we want to enable the QEMU, or QEMU agent. And we're going to use the default graphics card. We're going to use the default machine. And we're going to use the default C BIOS. We're going to go to Next. Here we want to set the size. We're going to leave that at 32 gigs. And then Next. Sockets 1. And then I'm just going to set this to, yeah, I'm going to leave it at 1 core. And I'm going to set this to Host, wherever that is. There we go, host. And we're gonna go next. And now we need to set our memory. So I'm just gonna set mine at eight gigs. Go next. Here, we're just gonna leave this all alone. We don't need to do anything with the network device. And then it's gonna ask us to confirm everything, which to me looks good. And then we're just gonna click on finish. Now, to get this started, we have to go over here to the machine and we need to click on start. So that's going to start firing up now. And then if we want to see what's going on, we just click here onto console. And here it's going to start installing the Ubuntu operating system. And it is really that easy to get up and running with Proxmox. Now, I am using older hardware. It's it's very dated. I'm using a mechanical hard drive. I'm using a old SSD drive that I pulled out of a PlayStation 3. And it, you know, I'm using uh you know, I'm just using old hardware and and of course with that it's going to uh well not perform as great as some of the uh used enterprise hardware like I have or you know, uh, repurposing a uh, new to you computer that maybe you got off marketplace. But um, it is really that simple to get this up and running. Now in my next Proxmox video, I'm gonna go over on how to set up Docker. I know that is a huge thing that everyone wants to get into, especially those who have used Unraid before. Docker is a staple environment to be using. So with all this said and done, I'm going to end this video here. I just wanted to do something quick and simple. You know, Proxmox is such a great operating system and a great replacement for the VMware debacle that's going on. Um, but I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I learned some new things and uh, I'm, I'm really excited to start getting into the Proxmox ecosystem. So if there's anything that you would like to see Proxmox related, please let me know down in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, this uh, I didn't expect this to go as quickly as it did, but it, it did, and, and I'm extremely happy. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I will catch you in the next one. Uh, yeah, take it easy.